Charlemagne say the gang dunk it under Charlemagne. You are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for donkey of the day. Donkey of the day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey of the day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey <laughs> man, hit it with the heat. Uh, yes, yeah, the Breakfast Club, bitch. Who's donkey of the day today? Well, donkey of the day for Tuesday, September 6th goes to Durex, the condom company. This is a prime mm. example of great intention but poor execution. Now, yesterday, Durex announced an eggplant-flavored condom. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. First of all, I have no idea what eggplant tastes like. Uh, I was going to say, how did the condom taste? I couldn't pick it out of a taste testing lineup. Uh, <laughs> my tongue has no idea where to begin when it comes to the taste of eggplant. Okay? Or of well, condoms, right? Yeah, never, never, <laughs> taste, never tasted a condom. Oh, I'm glad you did. Now, why a condom company thinks that it's an appealing flavor, I have absolutely no idea. Durex announced a new flavor in a tweet yesterday, and of course they added an eggplant emoji. You can't sell something without an emoji nowadays. Doesn't matter if it's music or condoms, okay? Now, for those who aren't up on all the slang social media provides, the eggplant emoji is used in messages to refer to a male's penis. Whoa. All right? I'm sure some of the inspiration for this was the infamous eggplant Fridays when guys used to pose with boxer briefs and sweatpants on and show off their bulge. I could never partake in that, number one, because that's lame. And number two, I don't have a bulge. I'm a grower, not a shower. Okay, you see me fresh out the shower. <laughs> the size of my penis can be misinterpreted. All right, TMI. Misconstrued. Okay. All right? So, Eggplant Fridays <laughs> was never for, for me. All right? Now, when I read this, I already knew what this is. And this is some older people working at Durex saying to themselves, we have to promote the kids. And research says kids like emojis. And my point was proven when Durex released a statement saying emojis are a crucial part of how young couples connect. And research suggests that the creation of official safe sex emojis are vital to inserting messages around protection into their sexual conversations. So they came up with this eggplant gimmick. And yes, I said gimmick because the whole thing was a hoax. Let's go to CNBC for the report, please. Durex announcing a new flavor for a serious reason. In a tweet, the company used an eggplant emoji to say it would release an eggplant favored condom. But it was all a hoax. Durex says the post was part of its campaign to get a condom emoji introduced so young couples would talk about safe sex. In November, Durex launched its campaign calling for the world's first official safe sex condom emojis. The bottom line, the battle is on for a condom emoji. Now. If Durex wanted a safe sex condom emoji, why not create a petition for a safe sex condom emoji? Better yet, like, what is the point of this terrible eggplant marketing campaign to get guys to have safe sex? Are people really out here being that reckless that Durex has to create eggplant flavored hoaxes to raise awareness for condom use? And furthermore, since when are guys picky about what condoms they use? I'm married, so raw is life for me, but when I was out in these streets, it didn't matter what kind of condom you had or what flavor it was. You Perhaps just a Hennessy flavored condom. That would definitely work, but I, I, mm -hmm. it, it just doesn't matter. You just you just want a condom to make sure you have you to make sure you don't get STDs. You don't want to get a chick pregnant, and also because the worst feeling in the world is a chick wanting to give you some and you don't have a rubber. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been in those positions growing up, and I tried sandwich bags, some ran wraps, sandwich bags, sandwich bags. Some pieces of a trash bag. Oh my goodness! Oh, we improvise when there's no condoms around, so I don't understand. That sounds like an infection That's waiting to happen. Disgusting. I'm just saying I don't understand the reach on Durex's part. All you had to say. Durex was, look, we want an emoji for safe sex. I bet yet, you guys are a hundred million dollar company. Buy a safe sex emoji, create one, and offer it for free download. Okay? Eggplant flavored condoms aren't appealing, and using condoms aren't appealing. Nobody wants to admit it, but raw sex isn't the safest, but it feels the best. So when you mix two unappealing things, like the flavor of an eggplant and condom use, you make people want to stay away from Durex altogether. And running people away from a product defeats the whole purpose of a marketing campaign, doesn't it? Please hit Durex with some of those smooth sounds in the Hamiltons, please. You are the donkey. Actually, try it before you give your opinion, though. No, right. and uh, number one, it. I said mm -hmm. today, September 6th, it's actually September 7th. Uh, also, number two, yes, wear condoms, kids, but get married so you don't have to wear them. There you go. Or if you already got an STD that's uncurable, get with somebody else who has it too, and then you two can enjoy unprotected sex. Okay. All right. 
Well then. Thank you for that donkey today, sir. Mm-hmm. When we come back, I guess their ask, marketing plan worked. Yeah, yeah, because we're talking about it. 800-585-1051. If you have a question for Yee, call her right now. Again, 800-585-1051. Ask Yee is next. Can I ask you a random question? Me? Yes. What flavor condom would make you taste it, if not eggplant? I haven't why, used condoms why, why, so why long. Would you, first of all, and, and, why are you answering this question? <laughs> why, my, my, my nigga? Why are you answering this question? <laughs> You're right. Why you ran right? Why you not thinking? Why are you not thinking? You, you didn't listen? She looked you thinking. right in the eye and said, let me ask you a question. And I, I what flavor it. condom would you taste and you answer it? Why? Let me ask you that. <laughs> yeah, did you even think about that? Nope. Nope. That's <laughs> what happens when you got a beige brain. No, I just, I haven't. Yeah, just don't even say nothing. <laughs> just right. hush. Power down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask Yee is next. 800-585-1051. If you would like to talk to Angela Yee, you can call her right now. She'll help you out with all your problems, your situations, whatever's going on in your relationship. Call her now and shout to all the kids heading to school. Good morning.